we are trying to explain the S parameter measurements in the microwave circuit analyzer MIC10. As you can see, we are generating a signal of 0 dBm and we have connected two 20 dB attenuators in the signal path and we have we are taking the measurements at 1500 MHz in the receiver. We can observe that the receiver right now is displaying a power level of about minus 40.5 dBm. We have connected two 30 cm RG316 cables with SMA connectors. RG316 is a 50 ohm characteristic impedance cable with a low loss and a Teflon dielectric with a silver cord copper as the central conductor. The half a dB loss enhancement has been because we have inserted one more cable into the system. Right now minus 40.5 dB is the signal being measured at this reference port. Now we will replace the SMA female female connector and we will insert the directional coupler provided. We have provided with a directional coupler which has got input and output ports. It has got coupled input port and a terminated port which we have connected using a 50 ohm termination. 40.5 dBm was our power being measured at these reference ports. Now we will connect the source to the coupler input at 1500 MHz and we have inserted the device in place of the supposedly zero loss SMA female female connector. Now we see and measure the power level. The power level as we can see being measured is minus 40.6 dBm. So the insertion loss of this device is only 0.1 dB. Now this explains and appreciates the 0.1 dB resolution of power measurement provided with our system which is the reason why we can measure the power to a good resolution with our system. Now we will replace the insertion loss ports and we will measure the forward power with our system. We will connect the receiver to the coupled input port. We need to be sure and we need to be very careful while screwing and unscrewing these SMA connectors as these are fragile connectors. We should not use excessive force and we should always mate them in the coaxial direction. We should not try to forcibly put the thread as that will damage the connector permanently and the measurements will not henceforth be repeatable. Now we have connected the source at the input port and we have measured and we have connected the receiver at the coupled port. So right now the receiver is measuring the power at the source with the insertion loss because of the coupling factor. The power level right now is minus 56 minus 56.3 we need to be sure that the unused ports in all our measurements have to be terminated into the 50 ohm provided. Now this unused port has been terminated into the 50 ohms. Now we observe that the measured power is minus 55.7 dBm or 0.6 dBm for ease we had measured the power at this port to be minus 40.6 so 15 dB is the coupling factor of this coupler we have provided. So we have been able to measure the forward power. Now we will try to measure the reverse power. We will keep the receiver at the same port and we will interchange the input and output ports. Now we will connect the source at the output port. And now we are trying to measure 
the reflections from the unterminated port here we can connect the port into a open or a short because right now this port is not terminated so the reflections are huge which is why 56.5 db is the power as we connect this port into the 50 ohm termination the reflections will go down now because the port has been connected into a termination the reflected power has reduced to minus 69.5 which is roughly about 30 db lesser than the forward power being measured we can connect the open and shorts provided because that will make the reference plane in the same distance from the connector because these shorts and opens will allow the same amount of cable length to be added as that of the termination which will shift the reference plane and make the measurements much more precise. 